So in previous session, we have uh, seen the code we have written here. So as a AWS utility and this code, we are going to invoke now to see if I'm able to move a data or move a file from Salesforce to AWS. To do that, I'm going to do two activity now. So I'm going to my uh, Salesforce first. Let's, let's think, um, okay, let me see which one I'll take. I'm going to test with one specific uh, contact. Under this contact, I'll show you there is one file available. If I go to this contact, okay. So under this contact, you can see we have uploaded one file, small PDF. It's just a sample PDF. You can download any PDF file and you can put it. Just I get the name as uh, small PDF. So now this attachment I have right now here. Okay. So now if I go to my S3 bucket, so if I open my bucket, under this bucket, you can see right now I do not have any ob any object. That means there is no file. So now I have to invoke this API call. Nothing but upload document. I'll pass my contact ID. Okay. Then this code will help me to get the content document and its content versions. So the version what you get, the latest version what we get, we will build the request HTTP request call and we'll see it. Okay, so this code what we have, if you want, you can uh, modify a little bit to call in a screen flow or call in a lightning component or lightning web component or in trigger. So I'm giving a an anonymous code and we'll see how this anonymous code able to execute it. Okay, and for this, what I do, if you remember, we have downloaded the key and secret file. So that key and secret, I'm going to use it. Okay, if you see here, this is my access key so i'm going to write this script this script and code i'm going to put in this lecture also you can find it as a complete uh, document or you can say complete code code snippet okay so we define string key and the key what we have uh, copied from the provider excel sheet and the secret i'm going to take from here this secret just assign to variable AWS secret and the bucket name. What is the bucket name? If you see my AWS, my bucket name is Devices Customer Detail. So that nothing but my bucket name I pass. You remember I said there is four parameters we have that I'm going to initialize here. This information what I'm hard coding in my anonymous window that you can keep in a label or in a metadata and you can retrieve it from there. In the, in the like when you're executing in the uh, real scenarios, might be in LWC or might be in your trigger. Okay, so what is your host? I said my host is going to be s3.amazonaws.com. Method is put these parameters. Now I'm going to initialize my utility class, AWS utility service equal to new AWS utility, parameter pass key, secret, bucket, method, and host. Key secret, bucket, method, host. You can see here. Now I'm going to make a call to upload document. So when I say upload document, I just pass my direct contact ID, which I want to test my API working fine or not. So if it's working fine, then we can use forever you want. Okay. So I'm going to call this method. So my object name service dot method name upload document and my record ID. So the moment I pass the record ID, what happened? It, I need to get the uh, attachment or the file, whatever I have on this contact, correct? So this is nothing but, this is a file for me, okay? You can see this is a file. So this file I want to get. So how will get file? I, I need to get the content version. So under this record ID, or you can say under this contact ID, nothing but as a link edit ID, what document we have, we get that as content document link. For all this content document, I coded my content version. So what document we have added that attachment body we took, the file name, content type we defined. It's a PDF or whatever the file, depending on that my content type will be set. Then you can see uh, we have exe executing our logic in the HTTP request and send it. So now 
the moment I'm going to send it, now I'll get one error. Okay. You can think of why the, what is this error. So whenever I'm doing integration this way, I'm not using named, cred named credential. As I'm not using named credential, I'm using direct REST API call from here, the authentications. The endpoint what we have, that need to be added in my remote site setting. If not there, we'll get error. So now I didn't add. If I execute it, let's see what is happening. See, it says add this in remote site setting. Okay, let me take and add it. Simply go to my remote site. I click on my remote site, adding this URL. Okay. So now this error will not come. Now I click OK. Now I'm going to execute it again. So I expect the file what I have here on this contact, that file will go and store in my bucket. So if I execute this now, what is going to happen? Let's see. We'll see the status also because we have kept the status code as success or anything. If you see the debug statement here, oh, my success status 200 came from the result or from the response. Now, if I go to my bucket, okay, let me click on refresh. Yeah, you can see my PDA file directly came here. Okay, we have this PDA file. You can see everything. Okay. So this PDF file automatically came here. This is the PDF file where my content available. Okay. So it's a simple way you can see how we can integrate Salesforce with my REST mechanism with AWS S3 to move the file. You can move CSP, doc file, PNG, whatever you want, you can move it. Okay. So next we'll see a few more integrations and this piece of code what we have, if you want to, you can take to LWC or you can take to flow, screen flow, where you want to invoke, you can invoke it. Thank you. This code will share also. You can follow this code and try to write by yourself. Follow this code and try to write. That will give you more confident. So you can write the code. Thank you.